So a very, very big series, both for the Independence offense and the Harding defense. The Rams down and the two-point conversion can tie it up. Exactly. Big, big series for the Patriots. Quarterback passes, and it's deflected. And it bounced off of several people, almost intercepted, but then almost caught for a touchdown. Cornwell Caldwell was the last player to have his hands on the ball. That was the end for Independence, and he caught the ball in the back of the end zone, had his feet inbounds, and then dropped the ball. You'll see it hit first. Well, we'll see it here. There's one deflection, two, three. Three, that was 45, I apologize. And that was Donald Morris, yeah, Donald the Morris. tight end, and he almost brought it in for a touchdown. Big play here. Now it's fourth down and one from the five-yard line. You know Independence will go for it. They will kick a field goal here. I believe they've taken the time out to talk about it. Fourth down, as you say, they, they've got to go for a touchdown because they've got to get points on the scoreboard. This has been another drive that was set up by a turnover. They've gone 26 yards after that turnover. And 26 yards, they've already eaten up three and a half minutes of the clock. So they moved the ball on the ground and uh, used up a lot of time on the clock. Only 327 left to go here in the third quarter. And I tell you what, Independence is shocking quite a few people here the ball game tonight. We know we talked about the game when it began. If Independence was to stay in the football game, they had to play good defense and keep Harding from putting points on the board. They have been able to play good defense and they have been able to force Harding to commit some turnovers that have helped their offense out. And now they have an opportunity to tie the game up in the closing minutes of the third quarter. Fourth down, they gotta get about a yard. Greer gets the ball, and he's gonna get the touchdown. Mario Greer, for the Patriots, carries a tackler into the end zone for the touchdown. And we have not seen Mario Greer much in the first half. I think they should have been playing him all along, though, because he has been literally carrying people when they try to tackle him. Watch, 82, Jeff Wilson has him, but he can't bring him down. He just goes right on in and gets a touchdown. Good hard running. And now it's 14 to 12. Independence now lining up to attempt a two point conversion that could tie this football game up. Hyman rolling, throwing the opposite way and Harrison dropped it. And he can't believe it. Standing in solitude down by the end zone. I know he's got to be very unhappy. The ball was there, but it was just, I guess, too easy of a play. And Harrison tried to hit for the end zone before he first made sure that he had caught the football. So, with three minutes, 23 seconds to play in the third quarter, Independence has pulled within two points of the Harding Rams at 14 to 12. And in a game that a lot of people didn't think would be much of a playoff game, Independence is giving Harding a rough way to go. We've well, seen so far score two touchdowns tonight. First of all, Harding scored two touchdowns, one on an 80-yard drive, another on a 76-yard drive, while Independence has had to only go 30 yards in each of their two touchdown drives, set up both by Harding turnovers. On the return, the Rams have it out to about the 31, where they'll start at that point. We talked about Mario Greer for the Independence Patriots and what he has meant here in the second half. At halftime, he had carried the ball twice, had gained 17 yards. In the second half, he has had it five times for 28 yards. So on seven carries, he's got 45 yards, averaging over six yards every time he touches the football. And that's doing some fine running. And I'm shocked because it's coming against the Harding Ram defense. Harding has a first down. Back to pass. Loy with everybody. A screen pass intercepted. And Independence has a touchdown. Number 55. That is Grappy. Cliff Grappy. Or Cliff Graff. I'm not sure exactly the pronunciation. Has the touchdown for the Patriots. And he was waiting on that screen pass. He was standing right there. Loying let the pressure come. But apparently did not see Graff there. And through the pass, lofted it, Graff got it, and ran it in. He has had an unbelievable third quarter. He's intercepted his pass for a touchdown. 
He's recovered a fumble, and he almost set up another interception when he pressured the quarterback. He's been a one-man crew here for Independence. Rappy in the end zone, and who would have dreamt it? Patriots leading 18 to 14. 18 to wow. 14 in favor of Independence. They will now try a conversion. Whether it will be a one-point try or a two-point try, we'll have to wait to see. Well, two-point try would give them a, a six-point lead where a touchdown would tie it up if the Hardy Rams would, uh, would score again. One-point conversion really does nothing. That gives them a five-point advantage, which, you know, a touchdown is going to put Harding up in front, so I'm, I'm sure they'll go for two here. And, of course, whoever holds on, if the Patriots could hold on and pull the big upset over Harding, the Patriots would play the winner of Ashbrook and Kannapolis. But if the Patriots win, the Patriots will have to go on the road, I believe, to play against Ashbrook if they play Ashbrook. Well, you saw the play, the two-point conversion try, ball popped loose, and Jeff Wilson jumped on it. And so, with only 2.59 to play in the third quarter, Independence now out in front of the Harding Rams, 18 to 14. And the Patriots have been playing inspired football tonight. They remember very well back to the early days of September when they faced this Harding Ram team and lost 28 to nothing. They have felt that they have a playoff quality football team despite their record. And as you well know, they won their last three games of regular season. Some would debate that they didn't have much competition, but they definitely have competition tonight. And look at the scoreboard. The kick gets away from number 88, and he's going to fall on it and get hit afterwards. That's probably going to be a flag. Yes, it will be. The whistle had blown, and the man that made the tackle hit him after the whistle had blown. That, that was a mistake. Yeah, that, that was a senseless type of penalty. Harding had the ball down by four points at their own 15-yard line. Did you come up with a penalty like that? All of a sudden, they're out of uh, behind their own 20, and they're now at the 30-yard line with good field position. So that was a, a very costly penalty because right now, Independence has all the momentum in the world. The last thing Harding wants to do is start a drive inside their own 20. And you know, right now we're going to see a situation that we have not seen, and the Harding Rams have not seen this season. And that is having to come back from behind. I don't think Harding has had to do that this year. If so, certainly not very often. And let's see what they can do now. They're going to keep it on the ground with Byers. The Byers were a short game, but not much. The defensive front five of Independence doing a good job as Byers gets the couple on it. And it brings up second down. They'll need about two. Well, the Rams tonight have committed three turnovers, an interception and two fumbles, or two interceptions and a fumble, and uh, all three turnovers have been converted to touchdowns. So it's been the ability of Independence to take advantage of uh, mistakes. And that's something that Harding usually does not do. Picked yeah. off again. 52 got the interception. And Independence with a touchdown. A straight pass intended for Jonathan Byers. Just threw it out there. Scott May got it and ran it in for the score. And what a surprise. At this point in the ball game, the Independence sideline is elated. And Harding too often. It got burnt by the screen pass once again. What? You see it here. It was just not, not enough put on the ball. 52 was playing center field. And obviously at halftime, as you see Scott May get the touchdown, at halftime, Independence must have looked at that play and said, they've been burning us with that screen pass. We've got people that can get in position and make that play. And they come out and they have done it twice four touchdowns here in the second half. Great pitch out to Harrison who gets the call. Good. And a two-point conversion attempt is good. And believe it or not, folks, with two minutes and 12 seconds to play in the third quarter, the score 26 to 14, and the Independence Patriots have the 26. 
is a simple option play. Gets in. Jeff said 12 point independence advantage. And we'll see how mentally tough Harding is now. They've never been behind at least by 12 points in their third quarter like they are now. They can do one of two things. They can pull, they can come back and come from behind and win this football game or come back and, and uh, be competitive here in the last uh, two minutes and 12 seconds of the third quarter in the fourth quarter. We'll see how they react. They've never been put in a situation like this the entire season. And not only have they not been in this situation, but now they have the additional problem of wondering what can we do that won't result in a turnover. I don't think you'll see too many passes here. Because Ed Lawring, he had a great first half, but uh, he threw a couple of screen passes which have been picked off, and you know that's got to do some, a lot of detriment to his confidence here in the second half. Well, you know, I don't know that they can simply abandon the passing game because Independence has played pretty well against the run. I think what Harding has to do is go back to the type of plays they ran in the first half, the misdirection plays. You see the penalty, illegal procedure against Independence. I think that Harding has to go back to the misdirection type plays with some running by Byers, but they've got to throw the football and try to get to Darren Hart. Another person they haven't thrown to tonight very much is Joey Huxtetler. In fact, I don't think he's caught a ball. They need to get him involved in the game. The other tight end, Anthony Rice, that had success earlier. And they've got to get some offense going. They really have have committed some big mistakes and they're going to have to try to get back on track but right away David Petty having trouble with the football and gets pounded at the 25 and that's where Harding starts out so Harding will be 75 yards away from the end zone and they're going to have to prove that they have an offense that can drive the length of the field and they did it earlier in the first half going 80 yards on two occasions, they went about that same distance. Here's a stat for you. All season long, Harding had never given up more than one touchdown in a game. They given up three touchdowns in the third quarter. And that is really remarkable. Of course, two scored by the defensive independent. So Harding's defense has only given up one. Well, the quarterback that time kept it himself. Looked like he wanted to pitch it out to Byers. Byers wasn't looking for it. And sack is Ed Loy. 99, I think, was the man that got in there defensively. Carl Gabriel. That's not a good sign. Uh, come out a little rattled after giving him another touchdown. Finally important at Harding. Keeps some composure here. They got a great football team, no doubt about it. They can come back, but uh, we'll see if they're mentally capable of, of doing something they haven't even been forced to do all season long. Second down and 13. They go with the draw play. It gets out across the 20 to the 25. A pickup of only about a yard from the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be third down. And they're going to need about eight. They picked up about six yards, actually, on that play. Inside a minute to play in the third quarter. Independence leading. 26 to 14 right now over Harding. So Harding has to try to come back. A big play for their offense, a big play for the Patriot defense on third down and eight. Boy gets the pass deflected and it's incomplete. And I'll tell you what, Independence is all over Ed Loing. The offensive line cannot contain the defense of the Patriots right now. And it's fourth down. And There's man, number 55 again. Cliff Grapp is there again. Tell you what, he's been unbelievable here in the third quarter. Intercepted a pass for a touchdown, recovered a fumble, and has rushed the quarterback successfully two times here in the third quarter. And I would say at this point, he's player of the game material. No doubt about it. A lot of pressure put on Hart, but gets away a halfway decent punt. They lost the football, though, and then he got it back. And Pettis is on the way down the sidelines. Pettis not stopped until he gets to the 22. And it's so often we see that happen on a play just like that. He bobbled it at first. He got it back. The defensive kick return coverage had already gone by him. And it's a race down the sidelines. Fortunately for Harding, they were able to catch up to him and finally get him out of bounds. You'll see it coming once again as Jeff sees, says, you see all the pursuit. In tight, bobble the ball. 
there's no one back there. They're all behind the ball carrier. 